Hello, everybody, and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But it's really afternoon. Because you took a nap and we didn't get to film earlier. I didn't get to bed till 2 o'clock and got up at 7. Why didn't you go to bed earlier? Because you kept me up all night with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the day, folks. It is. Today is the day. We are literally standing in front of the door to little man's room. His nursery. And we... I guess we're ready to reveal it. Yes. Now, some of you might have seen an accidental sneak peek a couple weeks ago in one of the vlogs. Yes. I cried about it. I was so mad at myself. She did. She really did for cry. For letting it get in the footage. Yeah, and then so many people commented about it. Like, they did. an accident? <laughs> and I'm like, Ugh. I just had to scroll by them because I was so upset. Yeah, but, but it's okay. Yeah. So we're ready to show you. Yes. Are, are we, we though? <laughs> there are a couple things that did not arrive and we did not have time to do. So there will be another, but we promised for mm -hmm. Monday. Yeah. We'll show so, anything extra from now on that we do. Yeah. There, there might be one or two more additions. So mm -hmm. it'll probably be like in the middle of a... Another vlog, but today yeah. will all be about Little Man's Room. Yeah. So let's get started. Which, which wall do you want to start with? Well, maybe we can do like a general pan and then we'll just explain to them how we came across the idea and then show them some more details about it. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Nobody can complain yet because you're not watching live. <laughs> <laughs> come up for the theme of the room? Well, we, <laughs> so a long time ago before we even started yeah. thinking about having kids, mm -hmm. there was a comforter set that I loved. It was like Arctic themed with right. penguins and polar bears and little whales. And it was a cute set. They had wall art, all of this stuff. And I'm like, we have to have that. Yeah. Well, turns out it was discontinued. <laughs> when we finally started actually even thinking about having kids. Oddly enough, wasn't it discontinued in like 2014 or 15? It might have been. So I mean like years before. One of my friends actually got yeah, the Yeah, I remember. And I was like, I'm so jealous of you. I want to have this when we have kids. But so then I had to look for a whole new set. Mm -hmm. Well, turns out I found this quilt right here. So, I can actually hold the whole thing up. Yes, so it's all the planets. And this is, of course, my favorite part. Yes. Not a planet, but still our friend, Pluto. Mm -hmm. We, <laughs> yeah, anyway, we'll talk about the blanket first. So, I saw this quilt, and I'm like, we need to have a solar system theme. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care if we have a girl or a boy but it has to be solar system themed because I love this quilt so much. Right. And Tiffany was on board. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Didn't even argue a bit. I was so shocked because <laughs> I thought for sure she would want a superhero's room or something. You know, the thing with the, the space theme is that I really think it ties into education as well. Mm -hmm. You know, education that, not that superhero education won't be useful in the future, but I do think that the solar system is going to promote, you know, space travel. It's going gonna, it's gonna to promote more uh, educational learning. Yeah. 
I'm a math and science girl, so I love right. outer space. I love all things science and, you know, I want our kids to be interested in that kind of stuff. Right, and I love science and art. Yes. And space is beautiful. It really is. Yeah. So. so. And then I thought it was cool because we had this quilt. We got the matching crib sheet. Yes. Oh, please be careful. Tripped over the new rug. Yep. You can put little man in here and take pictures. And look, he can sleep right in the middle of <laughs> the planets. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to happen. <laughs> he will. He mm -hmm. likes to be neat. Yeah. And then we had, I got this for Tiffany for our first anniversary. Yes. Our first wedding anniversary. Yes, our first wedding anniversary. And I thought, wow, that would go perfect mm -hmm. with the solar system theme. Right. So, that's how we got the idea. <laughs> So a lot of you probably think, that is a frickin' cool wall. Yeah, I painted that myself. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany really did. It took a long time. That's why yeah. our reveal took so long. Yeah, I had to do a lot of, you know, detailed There's work. There's a lot of detail. I my mean, favorite, uh, my favorite detail is the wallpaper line. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I even detailed the wallpaper line, as you can see up there. Yeah. No, um, so Carrie's mom, uh, just happens to live really close to us, and... She is so, so crafty. Yeah, she's very handy with everything. Mm -hmm. So she, um, came over and helped us, and by helped, I mean she put it up. She put that up for us. Yes. We are covering it up for now, some of it, because of the crib, but yeah. eventually there'll be a bed in here, and... I think it looks seen... great, though, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... All the bottom is like clouds and smoke and stuff, and you right. can see 95% of the rocket ship. So. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely, I love it. Like, I think it looks great, but mm -hmm. when there's a bed in here, it'll be awesome to see, like, that whole thing taken off, you know? Like, I think, I just think it'll be really yeah. cool. I think so, too. And yeah. most of you guys saw this wall. Yes, this is what was part of the accidental sneak peek that I sobbed about. Yes. So, we got these planets from the internet. Mm -hmm. We actually drew these lines on with marker because we wanted them to look worn. Yeah. And not, like, super dark. We were going to paint them, but it was just going to take too much. And uh, we ended up tying, putting a hole in the middle of that sun and making a string. And we were able to... Just draw the lines with us. And draw the lines. So, it was actually yeah. really cool. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, yeah. that is marker. That is permanent marker. So, uh, so it'll have to be painted over. Um, <laughs> so it's there forever. I, so if we were to mess up, it, <laughs> it would have been uh, really, really bad. So we wanted to put galaxies on. As you can see here, mm -hmm. there's a little dot star. And there's a star by the and Earth, then, too. Yeah, so we put this up because we ordered several different stars, and they came, and the paper, mm -hmm. on the stars, the paper, or the, on the paper, the stars were already peeling up when we opened it. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, we've been swindled. Yeah. So. We had to send them back. We had to send them back. We finally got some that work. We've been testing it for the past couple of days, and I was like, you know what, let's just do the reveal We'll add the galaxy part in later because mm -hmm. we are going to add, like, some sort of galaxy in of stars. Yes. Um, and uh, we did add a moon over here. Mm -hmm. We have an extra moon sticker. I have an idea of where it's going to go, but... Oh, you do? Um, yeah. Is that a secret? It's not a secret, but I have oh. to wait for something else to come in that I ordered. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to wait until that comes in. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So on to the next thing. What should we talk about next? Well, Let's you can... just go this way. I guess. Okay. Um, we have these cosmic stickers. We were really torn on getting those. I was really not a fan mm -hmm. of getting them because a lot of the letters are covered up. Right. And like, <laughs> there. Okay. Sure. There's A for astronaut. But then there's, like, a rocket on L. Which they could have put a moon there for lunar. Or they yeah. could have put, you know, there's, like, different things that they could have done. And there's mm -hmm. nothing for B. 
Right, just some stars. You know, they could have had a launch pad under L. I mean, whoever made them, it's cool. There are stars that fits the theme. Yes. But we have an idea, since we were lucky enough to get several sets of those, uh -huh. um, you know, star or um, letters, we're going to put some in the living room on our front door and then maybe in the bathroom. Anywhere that's going to promote learning from him. I don't really care what our house looks like. It can look like a giant alphabet. That's fine. So. The only other thing I wish is that there were lowercase letters, too. Yeah. But that's fine for now. <clears throat> um, right. I did put those up by myself. Yes, by hand. You guys see how straight those are? <laughs> when I got home one day, I was like, holy smokes, how long did that take you? Oh, I did it by minutes. hand. I did. What? I did do it by hand. Yeah. So we've got the solar system alphabet there. Yes. And then we've got some nice pictures of space. Yes, you guys have been awesome and sending us stuff in. Yeah. Some uh, of it, so you we guys have didn't used even it. Know right. That we were having a space theme and you sent it anyway, so that was really cool. Then we've got our stuffed animal hammock. Yes. We took a few out because they were a little bit bigger, but I have to say that my favorite has to be <laughs> Bullseye sticking his little head out like, Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? But you got Batman back there. Well, uh, listen, Ooh, let's not uh, talk semantics here. I mean, right? there's some great stuffed animals in there. This little puppy here, mm -hmm. Tiffany got me for Valentine's Day one year. Yeah. With a dozen roses. Meadow says it's the softest um, mm -hmm. stuffed animal, so we had to keep it to see... What little man I thought of it? Penguin that penguin. It, well, I'm just saying, maybe Meadows never felt it. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Then we have a couple pillows. Yes. Down here. This pillow here. This is actually a slip cover. It's on one of um another pillow that we have, but it was made by my friend Chelsea Laddie. There's her card, and she has an Etsy shop called So She Did Designs. Mm -hmm. Look at this business card. Isn't that great? So Chelsea makes pillows and slip covers. Um, she can do custom designs or custom options for you if you're interested. She can make uh, different sizes. She's more comfortable with a square size, but she can try anything out. And if you're looking for a specific print, she will find it for you. Um, another th cool thing that she does is she does aromatherapy and scented pillows with authentic essential oils in them. Now, she has a friend who actually uses these pillows quite frequently, and the pillow scents last about two months before you need to put a new scent in. I don't really know how that works, but yeah. One thing she does say is that slipcovers are usually better especially if you're gonna have if you have little kids because you can take the slip covers right off and go wash them but like i said she does both pillows and slip covers she can find cool amazing prints for you if you just ask so if you're interested if you love throw pillows i love throw pillows tiffany doesn't like them but if you love throw pillows and you want some new cool designs for holidays or you're redoing your living room or whatever it is Look her up on Etsy because she does a great job and they're definitely a great deal. So thank you, Chelsea, for that slip cover for Little Man's Room. Bow -dow. But yes. we've got a rocket ship and then someone sent us I Love You to the Moon and Back pillow. Yes, how awesome so, was that? Oh, and this room comes complete with a cat. Yes. Just complete, complete with, with a with cat. cat. Yep. And then the rest of this wall is just the yeah. shelf. So Carrie actually put most of these books up. As you can see, they're not in any type of order. Right. I think it's good that way because, you know, we kind of want Little Man to be able to just come in and pick out a book, not really based by size. Like, I love organization, and I think it is really important with kids, and they can learn. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really sure that he needs to learn how to put things away in an order at so young. I'd really rather him just see a book and, and look at the book. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I There's not a lot of literature on this, and I don't like to talk about it too much, but there isn't anything that really says that putting your books in order is really important for kids. So <laughs> that's why I was like, okay, 
Haven't found anything on it. Not going to freak out about it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So down here we have some toy bins too. Yeah. They're like separated. Um, some other stuff that we might be putting up later. That was an extra toy bin that really wasn't being used. Right, so it's but just we've got, got some, some like zero to three month stuff in here, rattles and things. Yeah. Um, and then a few bigger toys in here. This is like blocks and some learning stuff. Yeah. Some and stuff that he might have some fun with. The Buzz and Woody. The Buzz will probably come out later, but I'm gonna do something else with that too. Okay. Um, I would like to find like a bigger, like plush Buzz. Yeah. Um, and a bigger plush Woody. Uh, I just don't know. I haven't even bothered to look him up, but since Bullseye is so big, I yeah. think it would be really cool to have that bigger plush mm -hmm. Buzz Lightyear. Um, speaking <clears throat> of books too, we do have this additional bookshelf over here. Yes. Because we have so many books, uh, we've got a lot of the little golden books down here and some Dr. Seuss ones. You really cannot have enough books though. No. You know, and when mm -hmm. he gets done reading those, obviously we'll... Um, depending on how many other kids, you know, we've told you before we want more biological kids we want to adopt, but a lot of these books can be donated. We plan to keep them in as best uh, condition as we can, yeah. Condition. Um, yeah. I do want to say something too. We got a little shoe section already. Still, yeah. um, we have some other shoes that we got from our uh, baby shower still that we haven't put up, but uh, so far we have these out. Um, both of the back of these Batman shoes have capes. Yes, they do. I believe these are the ones that Rachel sent us. Uh, my spirit yeah. bought some shoes, so we're pretty happy about it. And then the blue Converse. Yes. Which match our wedding shoes. Yes. Those are keepers so cute. For no, sure. These are soft bottoms, too. Yeah. I think they all are soft. Yeah. Oh, that's why we put them up. They're all soft. We have some other walking shoes for them. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't put those out yet because they're hard bottom. Right. Uh, these ones, just want to make sure that people see they are space. Yes, they are. Okay. And we've got some more wall art. Oh, Tiffany wants the camera back. What? Well, you know, trying <laughs> to get it on you too. Everybody yeah. loves that mug. Oh, yeah. I'm so pretty. <laughs> um, so then over here on this wall, we've got the I love you to the moon and back box. That yeah. That you guys before. My friend Kelly and her partner made that. Remember it had... It's going to be a great addition to yes. like a toy box, something he can keep under the bed. And then a die cast rocket. <laughs> Pull back and it goes. This is a little nightlight. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's charged, so it's a moon. Yep. And it changes to three different colors. It's very bright in the dark. And this is, it looks small, but it's very, very bright. It is. They do have a little bigger one. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how I ended up getting the super small one, but haven't had a chance to fix that I'm yet. I'm not mad about it. I think if we had a bigger one, it would be too bright for a nightlight. Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, we'll see. Then we have this bulb. Yes. MVP bought for us. It does say I love you to the moon and back on it, but it also has some other information on there that we can't show <laughs> you. So not, not yet. We had to turn it around. Yes. Um, and then t we got a Batman rocket ship. Lego that Tiffany's gonna put together, and then another Batman thing. And yeah, that little buzz up there. I got some glue for the Batman yeah. rocket. And then uh, this is actually a projector. It'll project a galaxy mm -hmm. or stars on the ceiling. It's got some different things. I don't know. I was calling them clips. Planets, clips. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's like those. Um, yeah, it's like an old school. Uh, what the heck was that called? I don't remember. Oh, great. We were going to use those at our wedding. Yeah, I too, remember. And now I can't think of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Did you step on her? Her tail. Oh yeah. no. Okay. Um, then we have this artwork here, which is super cool. Yes. That was actually a Christmas gift from Tiffany to me. Mm hmm. Yeah, because we had already known that it was going to be a space theme. Yeah, we've known. You know how hard it was to Christmas keep from time. everyone? Yeah. Gosh. So, and then a little bit of artwork here my sister got for us. It doesn't match the room, but it was important for us to put it in here mm -hmm. because... The colors match, and I love the sayings on them. Yeah. So... And I, plus, she got us a gift, like... Yeah. It was kind of... It made us both cry. I don't even know if she knows that. 
but like it was yeah. really like cool for her to say, "Hey, mm-hmm. I'm at the store right now and I saw this and I'm getting it for you." And, right. and I was like, "What?" That was really neat. Yeah. So we know that some of you are indifferent about the noisemaker, mm-hmm. but we also know that we want to be able to have people over talking. And we want to be able to have the TV on if we need it on, or music, or vacuum. So we did go with the dome. Um, actually, someone sent this to us. Yes. Sophie. So we are thankful for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it does have two settings. So it has the loud one, which I love. And it does have a little quieter one. Mm-hmm. So uh, Tiffany likes ambient noise when she sleeps. So she thinks it's going to benefit little man when he's sleeping. Like, I, I'm definitely going to vacuum and do a bunch of things while he's sleeping, but she thinks that that constant noise will help keep him asleep, so. So, um, well, and yeah, I have a very, like, overactive mind, mm-hmm. too. Like, yeah. I'm pretty borderline ADHD, uh-huh. which is quite common with kids until they find their niche anyway. Yeah. So I'm partially wondering, obviously we'll be able to tell if the noise isn't working, but I, I really think that there might be some, you know, benefits um, to that. Right. So this is one of our first, like, real good photos of Little Man. Mm-hmm. Um, it will probably always stay in this frame. I hope, because it says love at first sight. Yeah. And this was kind of the first time that we could, you know, like, you can make out his head and his little torso and his legs and his arms above his head, how they've been the entire eight months so far. Right. Always by his head. Mm -hmm. Always doing something. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least they're not anywhere else. I'm happy that they're by his head, but still, (laughs) we have been unable to get a really decent photo. It's Um, really fun when he's punching you in the bladder. I wouldn't know. (laughs) Uh, So Carrie put all these in here. Um, We're really excited to have these because there's, again... I know there's a lot of um, uneasy feelings when it comes to using a passy, but we do have the passies that are supposed to not mess with Mm -hmm. teeth and things like that. We also have some teethers in here. (laughs) Yeah. Um, This little, is it Sophie that you're with? Yes. And then we've got our little toothbrushes, a crown the cob toothbrush, or banana one, hand and foot teether. Things like that. So it's not all pacifiers in here. And we're not going to force him to take one. Right. If he doesn't want to take it, then that's fine. But at least we have them just in case. Right. i got to check these out because they're calling for some Orogel recalls, I think. Yeah, we do have to check those. And then we've got these little soothing blankets. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. I love the swab. And little babies love the feeling of this material Mm -hmm. which we have learned and we've got an elephant and a little sheep that's so cute sleepy sheep sleepy sheep sleepy sheep then we have a humidifier because it gets really dry in here especially in the winter time Mm -hmm. so we're going to make sure we have that running because we don't want little man to dry out and we will have the door shut because of any type of fire hazard the cats yeah (laughs) as you can see they love this room um we're keeping them used to it right now. We're not shutting it yet, but in the next like week or two, we're gonna start shutting it, so yeah, they can get used to it start being shut. It at night. Yeah. Yeah. So they know. So they're not crying outside the door. That's mm-hmm. the other reason for the dome is if the cats are like Row, with those really deep meows, Row, right. like how dare you? How dare? You? Yeah. So getting used to things in shifts. Yeah. And then we have our baby bags over here, our diaper bags. Um, This one we're actually using as our hospital baby bag. So it's quite full right now of things that we think we're going to (laughs) need at the hospital. And we are going to show you guys everything that's in there in a future video. Yes, probably in a couple days. Yeah. So I think we've covered the room, but I do want to talk about um, some stuff over here. And then we're going to end with one last gift. Yeah. Um, But down here you can see that we have the diaper genie. Mm -hmm. We're very excited for that. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it, but it doesn't hurt to try it. No, not at all. I've heard better Mm -hmm. than worse, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, Then we have our wipe warmer. Um, We're not exactly sure where we're going to have that plugged in yet. 
Right. But we know from you guys that it was really important. And then in the drawer here, do you want to tell them your, your favorite down here? Oh, down here? Yeah. We've got our cloth diapers. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're not going to start out cloth diapering. Right. Um, because we want to make sure that he's big enough to fill into the diaper and we want to make sure his belly button falls off before we irritate it with a, a cloth diaper. We don't have any newborn ones. We have all one size. Right. So. Because cloth diapers um, are so expensive. Holy smokes. Once he hits probably around that 10 pound range, we'll try some cloth diapering mm -hmm. and see how it goes. You know, I know cloth diapering is not for everyone. I want to at least try it out. I might find out it's not for me, but at least I'm giving it a shot. Well, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that because, as you pointed out, it's better for the environment. Mm -hmm. And there are some sources that say that it's better on their bums. Yeah. You know, so not a lot of plastic, like, up by them all the time. Right. And we did agree that if we go on trips or we go to people's houses, like, if we, you know, go visit our friend Aaron, Nicole, Kayla, if we go down to Brittany and Rachel's, we're not going to take the cloth diapers with us. Right. We're going to just use um, disposables. Yeah, we are going to just stick to cloth diapering at home if it works out for us. Yeah. Yeah. So lastly, I want to end on this gift. Well, then do you want to show them what's behind the door? Uh, I thought we already did. We didn't talk about I'm it. I'm afraid to <laughs> talk about that because I'm so afraid. There's something behind the door that you guys got to see a tiny bit of. Uh -huh. But it has little man's name on it, so we are, I'm so afraid that <laughs> it's going to show up somehow. <laughs> well, so I'll just go low. Okay. Okay. So anyway, the I'll mural the here yes. did not um It doesn't take fit. The whole you can wall. see there's like a foot of the wall that it didn't cover up. Yes, and originally whatever is over here, I thought we were going to put here. But it's not tall enough. Yeah, so I but do have. a tall enough area. A surprise for something else to go there. Mm -hmm. um, so here we go. Let me open we'll this. We'll start at the bottom. Okay. All right. It's a growth chart. <laughs> Do not go any higher. I'm good. Once I see the 66, then I have to stop. Yeah. It's got Eris on there. I know. And Pluto. You know how excited I am and about Pluto. that? And yeah. Pluto. Very excited. So we got a cool little growth chart to keep yeah. track of his measurements. Thank the high whatever for Etsy. Yeah. Like, wow, that place, you can get whatever you want on Etsy. Mm -hmm. I got a Google Home Mini for Christmas, and there's no way to mount it on the wall yet. They don't make a mount for it. Well, someone on Etsy for $7.99 did a 3D printer of a wall mount. Boom. It's on the wall. Boom. looks awesome. It's off my table. I love it. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, I wanted to end on this. This this is a gift that my mom picked out for us. Yes. She has this uncanny ability to get the best blankets. I don't know how. She's been doing it for years. Carrie and I were laughing about it this morning because we do have one of the blankets she got us. It's in the basement now because it's very old. We didn't want to get rid of it, so we put it away. Yeah. Because I, I gotta be honest, she does the cats it. love it too so we couldn't throw it out like mm -hmm. prim when we got her it was her blanket and she would just constantly just constantly do this on it mm -hmm. like so we have a feeling that's what's going to happen so uh taking on your advice a lot of the campers you guys had said take a blanket to the hospital bring it back so we are going to take this blanket to the hospital um have the baby on it and then hopefully one of our friends or one of our parents will bring it home a little early mm -hmm. and put it out on the couch or on the floor and uh the cats can get little man's smell yeah but the blanket has stars on it it's the perfect color oh yeah like i mean let's it talk matches. about that how in the heck did she do that and it's got gray it's got the that silky the, yeah edge. Like, this is a great blanket mm -hmm. so again I pretty much almost cried when I opened it yesterday, but I could almost cry now because I cry. <laughs> so anyway, that's our blanket. and I, That's the room, guys. That's yeah. the room. All right. Well, if that's the room and that's all you have to say, it, then... It is. So what's your favorite part of the room? I don't know. I don't have one either. Just in case you guys were wondering. We don't have a don't favorite have one. part. No. Nope. 
All right, well, All right. that's the nursery. What do you guys think? Yeah, please let us know below. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for caring. Thanks for doing all you guys do. Yeah, really. We are really appreciative of you. We so, sure are. thank you. Thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we will catch you on the flippity. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>